guess we can get one more joint in there. And just start getting the proportions closer to what I want. Um, so maybe his tail's quite, his back legs are, uh, let's see. Yeah, something really long could be pretty, pretty creepy. Imagining like that going through the jungle or something and it's just snaking around and maybe you'll just see a tail whip around a corner. Um, kind of like a Chinese dragon or something, but not quite as long. I think I'll turn that down a bit. Um, again, the lower the resolution, the easier it is to make bigger changes. Like when I increased it and it was doing that, like a lot of this isn't affected because there's so much geometry. Like it'll just kind of, and you'll get this really lumpy line. But if you turn it all the way down, it's much easier to get a smoother transition between all that. So again, just, just general to specific, if you're making a big change, go to the lowest subdivision and make that change um, if you're making just small details, bring it all the way up and, and do that. So I've taken that bone and pushed it out to this weird offset shoulder thing. And then this muscle here would be attached right there. Maybe go up inside it. This would all be some sort of fat or pad or whatever is emitting that sonar would be in this kind of form up here. Some sort of fleshy, fatty area. And then the muscle would be going up from there and attached to the back of the spine. Just getting a sense for overall how it'll sit in space, how the light's going to react off it, and how all these uh, flow lines across the form will, will read. I think that's pretty darn close. Just last minute check over. Mm, let's just go for it. So just warping that tiger shark pattern a little bit. Um, same thing with the dark light transition on the tail and body, just warping it where it makes sense, where this sort of thing would show up on a shark, and then just taking that logic and putting it on our, our predator.